Remember way back when, when Not Forgotten could kill in three shots at 180 RPM? And people complained about it? Well, in today's video, I'm going to talk about a scout rifle that does exactly that. It can three tap at 180 RPM. The name of the scout rifle is No Feelings, and you can obtain it from the Scourge of the Past raid. If you want your No Feelings to be able to three tap though, you need the perk called Box Breathing. This is a perk where if you aim down sights for 1.2 to like 1.5 seconds, it procs up on the bottom left of your screen box breathing, and you do 89 damage to the head instead of the normal 55. Because this weapon is a scout rifle, you're not going to see damage drop off for quite a while if you're using a long zoom scope. I have the perk on it called Rapid Hit, which means as long as I'm landing headshots, it's an increase to stability and reload. I also have flared magwell, so I can reload even faster, and a handling masterwork, so in other words, this really is an all-around scout rifle. I elected to put a hipfire mod, I at first decided sprint grip was good enough, but then I realized that if I proc box breathing, go for a single headshot, and then for the next couple shots start firing from the hip, it's fairly accurate because rapid hit does start stacking. I used this weapon all day to get a better feel for it, and it was really hard to duel up close, even with a close range sight. So I elected to go with a long zoom scope for better long range duels, and then just hip fire when I'm up close, or use my chaperone. I have no doubts that this weapon will find a place in the competitive playlist, but in quick play, it struggles just a little bit if you're going to take it into a close range map like Endless Veil. Vale. I know this sounds obvious, but it seems that everybody always has a sniper rifle, so it's kind of difficult to proc box breathing, slowly walk around the corner wall ADS, and out shoot a sniper rifle. The solution to using no feelings on any map is to pair it with knucklehead radar and 10 mobility. You want knucklehead radar that's an exotic helmet so that even when you're aiming down sights, you retain the radar. This is extremely helpful to making sure you know where the opponent is before you actually peek them so that you can get first shot off, maybe you flinch them, maybe you land the kill. The 10 mobility plays into this build because it is extremely helpful to be able to walk faster while hip firing and aiming down sights. It's huge. That means there's less reaction time for your opponent to see your elbow as you enter a room because you have knucklehead radar plus the 10 mobility so that you can get the drop on your opponent. In the competitive playlist, 10 mobility plus knucklehead radar isn't strictly necessary to make this work at the high level. What you want to do is, since it's the competitive playlist and there's actually objectives and your opponent has to come to you in some cases, you can set up a lane. You and your teammates can all look down the same lane and absolutely delete somebody. Imagine this. Imagine using an adaptive or even a rapid fire sniper rifle going for a body shot and then your teammate with the scout rifle going for a headshot. That might kill very low resiliences. I think it would be a fun follow-up video to this one if I grab four teammates with the similar box breathing no feelings, we all set up on a long lane, one of us crouched, one of us standing, shoulder to shoulder, and just wait for somebody to walk around the corner and get popped for 489s at the same time, or worse. Imagine pairing this scout rifle with a blast furnace, go figure, or right side or wrong, a aggressive pulse rifle. The damage value is going to be 89 from the scout rifle and 100 or more from the aggressive pulse rifle if everybody hits headshots. So pretty much since the scout rifle shoots one single bullet and the pulse rifle shoots a burst of four, the pulse rifle is almost always going to get the cleanup kill, which means you can give kill clip to your teammate pretty much free of charge. Another interesting combo that's almost worth bringing out in the doubles playlist is to combo this scout rifle with a Redrix's broadsword. And I know what you're thinking is that the damage doesn't exactly add up to a kill, but it does with the Bow Tracer exotic. So 89 from the scout, and then the first two shots of Redrix are going to hit for 66. And in that third shot, Bow Tracer should activate, resulting in a kill, giving you Desperado, and then you can take that uh, single kill and either kill the teammate with Desperado or carry Desperado across the map so you can farm somebody off spawn. Overall, my favorite scout rifle is still Polaris Lance, but after using this one, it makes me think. If most scout rifles had access to box breathing or some nerfed form of it almost inherently, 
I think scout rifles would be in a much better place. As it stands, scouts are sort of overshadowed by the range at which pulse rifles can hit, as well as the common map design. If a nerfed box breathing was accessible on most of the scout rifles, that means you could punch that much harder when people navigate between cover, something that a pulse rifle might struggle to do. Anyway guys, that about wraps up my first impression of this box breathing scout rifle. I might do a full review on this in the future, and that'll be of course with direct comparisons to other scout rifles, other pulse rifles, range drop-offs and the sort, rather than me just taking it into the crucible for a day and telling you my brief synopsis. In summary, this is a great all-around option, but if you were holding a gun to my head and told me to win a tournament, I would probably be using Polaris Lance or even the Hush Bow. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one, though the background gameplay I can either leave it in unedited, or I can just speed it up so we can all get on with our day. It's pretty much just me sitting in the middle of the map, wondering if someone's going to challenge me. And here we are. See you guys.